On today's video, I'm going to break down five reasons why you shouldn't get a new dachshund puppy. Welcome back to the Fenrir Dachshund Show. If you are new here, my name's Will. I'm a canine behaviorist and I'm the founder of FenrirCanineLeaders.com. This channel is dedicated to helping you learn everything you could possibly want to know about the incredible little dachshunds and how to become high level canine leaders that can raise perfect canine companions. So if this is your first time here, please consider subscribing. But without further ado, let's dive into today's list, breaking down five reasons why you shouldn't get a new dachshund. And starting our list at number five, we have because dachshunds are suddenly so popular. Now, I've been working in this industry for a long time and I've been a fan of canines my entire life. And when you go through these phases, you start to see that breeds come and go in and out of popularity. It's gone through phases with breeds like Siberian Huskies, French Bulldogs was a very common, recent, really popular breed. And for the last probably 12 or 18 months, the dachshund has exploded in popularity, in particular here in the UK. Now, in my role as a canine behaviorist unfortunately day to day I see the worst examples of poor behavior across the spectrum of all different dog breeds and unfortunately I see the bad side of when breeds get popular so my fifth reason is choosing a dachshund pop puppy because they're popular is a terrible reason to get one if you're looking for a puppy to be a Instagram photo opportunity or to get one for more likes across different social media platforms the tough love in this video that I need to pass over to you is, is that is a terrible reason for getting a dachshund. Now, in the next video, next week, we are going to discuss five incredible reasons why you should get a dachshund puppy. But this one might be a little bit more negative, but it's because I come from a place of caring about all dog breeds and I want to see dachshunds go to people that know what they're in for and are prepared to give the level of commitment and dedication required to raising these beautiful little dog breeds. So if you're thinking about getting one just because they're popular at the minute, I highly encourage you to take a step back and really learn more about this breed and decide whether they are actually a good fit and you can provide the lifestyle required for them. Now, at number four, we're going to talk about the fact that you shouldn't get a dachshund puppy if you're not necessarily the most consistent of person. Now, with all dog breeds, you need to be a calm, consistent leader. Everything that I teach all of the clients that I work with in all of my online courses and resources, I always refer to the importance of being a calm, consistent leader. Now, one of the most common training difficulties with a new dachshund puppy is just how difficult they can be to house train in particular and to have an excellent opportunity to be able to potty train or house train or house break your puppy as quickly and as efficiently as possible, you must att attack that task with an incredibly consistent approach. And that requires somebody that is dedicated to the task and can implement the methods of toilet training a puppy extremely consistently. So if that doesn't sound like you, maybe you're not somebody that is overly consistent and is ready to put in that level of de dedication consistency and commitment just quite yet then maybe again it might be something to reconsider about getting a new dachshund puppy right now at number three for another reason why i don't think you should get a dachshund puppy is if you live somewhere with lots of stairs or lots of change in different altitudes or flooring or having to go up steps to get into rooms or big steps down out of doors to get outside dachshund puppies and dachshunds as a breed as, as a whole suffer from incredibly bad backs because of those elongated backs so it's really important that with your new dachshunds you're able to have a household and a lifestyle where you can make sure that a dachshund puppy is happy, healthy, well-trained and well-mannered. And around them being a healthy dog breed, we have to make sure that things are in place so that they aren't injuring themselves. So if you have got lots of steps, maybe you might have to consider putting some ramps in or putting boundaries in place so the dog can't be trying to jump up steps, trying to jump down, trying to jump down out of doors to get outside. Again, there is ways around it, but if you are somebody that lives in an area where there's lots of steps, lots of flights of stairs and there's no opportunity to get around those issues then I would suggest that a dachshund isn't right for you because I have seen issues with dachshunds when they do have problems with their backs and I've got to say it's one of the most heartbreaking things seeing a dachshund suffer with a bad back so you have to be incredibly vigilant and ensure that you are in a household and you live a lifestyle where you can help manage that as efficiently as possible to make sure that we keep these incredible dogs as healthy as possible. 
Our reason at number two for not getting a dachshund puppy is if you're somebody that is out of the house a lot, especially if you're going out of the house and the dog is going to be on their own. Dachshunds thrive on companionship and they are a breed that is more prone to suffering from separation anxiety. They do love to be with other dogs or in particular with the people in their lives. So if you're the kind of person that works long working hours and you've got a very busy social life and you come in and go in and you want a dog that's quite content to be able to relax and be home alone, for longer periods of time then again a dachshund is not the right choice for you and it's definitely a breed that you should reconsider if that sounds like the kind of lifestyle that you currently lead and our reason at number one for not getting a dachshund puppy is if you live somewhere like an apartment building or in a row of terraced houses where you've got neighbours and neighbours that can really easily hear things in particular barking dachshunds are a breed that are renowned for being quite yappy for barking a lot one of the main reasons that people come to me as a canine behaviourist when they want me to work with a dachshund is to be able to try and stop them from barking so much because they so regularly get complaints from their neighbours flat mates housemates or people that live in the same apartment complex if you live in those environments and you are not extremely confident in your skill set to be able to teach your dachshund to not vocalize extensively whether that be yapping or barking in particular then a dachshund is not right for you you will find yourself the most hated person in your area when you've got a puppy that is yapping and barking consistently and constantly which dachshunds are very known to do now if you're in that situation there is things that you can do but it can be a very challenging behavior to have to implement a modification uh, program around to be able to fix poor uh, behavior in terms of excessive barking so i would personally always recommend if you don't think that you know how to train it from day one and you do live in an environment like that then you should look at a breed that is more inclined to be much quieter because a dachshund puppy isn't one that fits in well with that kind of lifestyle so that's my five reasons why you shouldn't get a dachshund like i just said we're going to do another video breaking down five reasons why you should get a dachshund which is going to be much more positive now i hope that didn't come across negative but sometimes because of my care for these breeds and not wanting to see them end up in shelters or unfortunately euthanized we have to give a little bit of tough love and i do believe that there is a breed out there for everybody and our job as expert canine leaders is to ensure that we match the right breed with our lifestyle so that not only is the dog happy but also we're incredibly happy with our perfect canine companion so thank you so much for watching if you are new here subscribe so you don't ever miss a future episode of the Fenrir Dachshund show where we have two new Dachshund specific videos every single week